Welcome. This video will give you an overview of participating and learning using BigBlueButton. When you first enter, you'll be invited to join your audio, either microphone or listen only. Choosing listen only, it's as it sounds. You will be able to listen, but you won't have any active microphone. When you enter, you'll see the main area called the presentation area. It's where most of the content is presented. To the left is the public chat. And then further to the left, you'll see some other options for collaboration, such as shared notes. And you'll see the list of users in the session. Notice you have a green listen only icon. This tells others in the class that you are joined listen only. If you want to join with the microphone, simply click okay. it again to leave. Click it again to join. You'll see the familiar dialog. And this time you can choose microphone. When it comes up, choose a microphone. You'll hear an echo test in the background. I click join and now I'm joined to the audio bridge. You may join muted if you are. You can always click to unmute yourself. And when you unmute yourself, you'll notice that as you talk, the microphone icon will pulsate and your name will appear at the top above the presentation area. This is where all the names appear of anyone generating audio, making it really easy to see who's talking. And on the left, your icon will pulsate as well. And you'll notice you have a green microphone icon. This tells everybody that your microphone is open and you may broadcast audio. If you want to mute yourself, just click the icon again to mute. And if you ever want to change the microphone, you can click here. There are various choices to change the microphone. And if you want to leave the audio, you can just click leave audio. The icon to the right is sharing a webcam. Clicking on it will bring up the webcam chooser, letting you choose a number of webcams. You can also choose the source of the webcam. You can also choose the quality here, we'll leave it at medium. And you can also choose a background image. Here I'll choose the chalkboard. When you're ready, click start sharing. Once the sharing starts, everyone will see your webcam. And you'll see the other students' webcams at the top as well. As with the audio, if you want to leave the webcam, you can just click it and it will stop sharing webcam. The next icon is the reactions bar. So here you can give reactions to the session. So sometimes the instructor would say, what do you think? You can give like a happy and or maybe a thumbs up. And if you want, you can click it multiple times to kind of give some animations. It's really cool and fun. You will also have the ability to raise your hand. If you click it, your hand will raise, the instructor will see it and know that you're looking for help. And at any time, you can just click it again to lower your hand. To close the reaction bar, just click away from it and it will close. The icon on the far right is just to minimize the presentation area and maximize it as well. For public chat, it's super easy. Just type whatever you want in the public chat. Looking forward to the class. And if someone else is typing, you'll see at the bottom, we are as well. You can also do a private chat. So if I click on a user on the left hand side, I can choose start private chat. It will open up a new entry here, it shows a teacher, I'm going to do a private chat. And again, when does the class start? And the teacher will see that and they can type in a response. If you want to go back to public chat, just click public chat. If somebody types into the private chat, you'll actually see a notification appear, which is a number next to the private chat. You can click it and you can see the unread messages. Notice here there's shared notes. Think of this as like a collaborative writing area. The instructor might put an agenda there, might ask questions. Agenda for the class, Mars. And you can type in it as well. Cool. Everyone will be able to see your typing as well, just as that everyone will be able to see in the public chat. So in the main presentation area, you'll see the instructor perhaps use the whiteboard, highlighting items as well, maybe advancing the slides, maybe drawing. And the whiteboard is also multi-user. What that means is that you will actually be able to draw on the presentation area as well. So here I'm gonna choose the pen tool. I know this is a triangle, so I could label it X, Y, and Z. You can also erase as well. You can only erase your marks, not the marks of the instructor or made by other students. And you have a pointer tool as well if you just simply want to point around. So here they may ask, where is Australia? And you can point to it and you'd be able to see the other students' pointers as well. This is a way that the instructor can do sort of visual assessment. Another form of assessment is polling. You may see the instructor put up a slide and at some point a poll question would occur. Here in the question, it'll appear as a dialogue box and then ask, what are the rings of Saturn made of? Hmm, obviously the answer is gummy bears. So here, that was a single choice poll. There are other types of polls as well. You might see a poll that allows multiple responses. What two elements comprise table salt? No, the answers are sodium and chloride. And you might also see a poll question which simply just asks you to enter in the value. So this is a question about two cars traveling, at what time are they a certain distance apart? 
I know the answer is 10 a.m. And I click Submit. At any point, the instructor might publish the results of the polls. You'll see it appear here. And if I go back to public chat, you'll also see the poll results appear in the public chat. Cool. You might also be invited to join a breakout room. When that occurs, a message will appear at the top saying join breakout room, the name of the room, and you can click join. When you do, you'll be invited to join the audio, same as before, choose microphone. You and now you'll be in a breakout room collaborating conference. with other students. You can do the public chat, the shared notes, and you'll also have the whiteboard tools as well. The instructor may join in the breakout room or you could ask the instructor for help. Notice that the breakout room is actually running in a new tab. The previous tab is the main class and you're still there. You just left the audio and you're now in the other room, but you can also raise your hand or type in the chat. So here, if I raised hand, I could go back to the class and in a moment, I could see the instructor join and help out. At some point, the instructor may put a message out in the class. So we're going to end soon. And you'll see this message come in with a yellow background. It means it's been broadcast to all the breakout rooms. When the breakout rooms do end, you'll be brought back in the main session. And again, you can join by microphone or listen only. And I will lower my hand. You can see at the top, there's an icon. You can use it to show and hide the user list. And if I click, I can click on public chat to see it again. Here in the center is the name of the class. And the next icon shows whether the class is being recorded or not. So if I click recording, you'll see the recording start and a message will appear. And if the instructor pauses the recording, you'll see the recording pause as well. There are two more icons. The green icon shows the connection status. Most of the time it's good, everything's connected. If you see it go purple or red, it might mean that there's some problems with the connection. And if at any point you want, you can also refresh the connection with BigBlueButton. Just click your browser's reload button. It will reload the BigBlueButton client. The last is the options. You can see the help here. It will take you to the BigBlueButton website showing you tutorial videos, including this one. And if you want, you can leave the meeting. And that's an overview of Big Blue Button, showing you how to join the audio, the video, type in the public chat, share some emojis, raise your hand, and also participate in breakout rooms, shared notes, polling, and the visual whiteboard. We hope you enjoy it.